My name is Erilyn Seibert. I'm a graduate student, a PhD student in the Department of Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian. Um, I'm studying linguistics, Spanish linguistics, um, and I'm also interested in language acquisition. Well, it was part of my program. We in our class uh, Spanish 502, we were learning methodologies for teaching, and it became an important part of the program. Our Spanish, our basic, basic language program involves using Angel and using a website and using um, PowerPoints and she wanted us to be proficient in that before we went into the classroom. It helps with communication. It's easy to email all of my students or um, they can contact me very easily through email. I keep um, all of our folders and materials on the Angel website and they check back on that frequently. It's important for them so they can see what their, what their requirements are. As far as using a PowerPoint or something to uh, organize the classroom, that's also a benefit. It's very neat. Instead of writing on the board, everyone can read my writing. <laughs> um, so that's definitely a benefit. I use uh, the internet and videos to bring authentic materials right into the classroom from Spanish-speaking countries. And um, it's something you can't do without technology. Some of the cons may be people rely on it too much. It can become a crutch and it can definitely fail at times <laughs> when you're least expecting it. Well, I think my students are definitely, they, they expect it. They expect me to use technology and sometimes when I don't use technology, they may feel um, I don't know, it, it kind of throws them off a little bit sometimes. I mean, they certainly know more about technology than I would say I do, um, just because of the generation that they're in, and uh, I feel I need to know the technology that they know to be an effective teacher, definitely. I feel like that was uh, relatively easy, straightforward. Um, the guidelines are pretty clear um, as far as what we need, what was required to have on our website and all the different components. Well, just things like links on the website, getting back and forth to certain pages. I know I had to adjust my, what I'd written a couple times, um, but overall it was pretty straightforward. Yes, definitely. Um, first of all, you can put it on your resume. You need to know technology to be part of the world these days. Um, and I think students would learn a lot from learning the technologies. It was kind of neat uh, to see, once I completed it, to see it up online and um, have, you know, I could send the link to my parents, to my friends, and they could all check out my website. And um, that was definitely neat because I'd never done that before. I never did it when I was in college or anything.